all praises, all praises, all praises to the heavenly, holy, almighty creator of infinity, eternity, the universe, and all there is. This is Revelations.unveil.detroit. Hello, family. We're back together again as we are dwelling into the carnal existence and giving it a spiritual scrutiny. And tonight, this episode was sparked by the theme, Flying While Black, under the article that came out July 31st, 2021. American Airlines charges women African-American service fee. And so as we go through this article, family, we can now put an extra light on the socioeconomic condition of the so-called black or African-American people here in the land of Babylon on the continent of confusion. The economics that keep us at the bottom rung of the American economy. We pay more for more to do regular services. So as we simply go about to have a regular flight across this so-called wonderful country, as we give scrutiny to the payments and the credits and the charges of any activity that we engage in as opposed to any other demographic of society, we need to see the hidden charges and fees applied to us that extract that little bit of disposable income that we try to accumulate, thus always keeping us at a level where we are economically deprived, disadvantaged, and targeted. And we began. We were disturbed by what we saw, said American Airlines. Kaitra Bryant from South Carolina at Charlotte City wants an explanation from American Airlines regarding a racially insensitive bank charge. As Bryant and her boyfriend were traveling out of Charlotte Douglas Airport on Thanksgiving Day, they checked in with American Airlines and checked in luggage without incident. But when she reviewed her bank statement that Saturday, she found a particular peculiar charge. African American African service charge. In quotes, Miss Bryant said, hmm, African-American, African service charge. It was just on my cell phone because I was looking at my bank app and I'm like, what is this? She explained. Fox 46 reported that Bryant wasted no time contacting the airlines to get the to get to the bottom of the matter, but could not get any answers from the service representative. She was like, I don't know what you're talking about, Bryant said about the representative. And I was like, I have a screenshot here on two different phones and a computer. And it says it's from American Charlotte. And I want to know why it's listed this way. For the next two months, she tried unsuccessfully to get answers, but only got the runaround from both the airlines and her bank. Ah, family. So we see these two institutions are in collusion or conspiracy against family. The bank told American directly, we don't have anything to do with that. When you put something in your system, we charge it as the merchant charges it. And that's it, Brian said. To this day, it hasn't changed on each of our statements. American Airlines issued a statement to Fox 46 after the outlet reached out to them. The customer alerted American to the offensively labeled baggage fee on her bank statement in mid-December. 
we were disturbed by what we saw and immediately launched an investigation to understand what occurred. The baggage fee was purchased at a self-service kiosk in Charlotte. Our team members are unable to change text when processing a charge and we've determined the issue originated with the credit card company and bank issuer. Right there again, family. So the bank is pointing the finger at the airlines and again, the airline is pointing the finger at the bank. We reached out to MasterCard who confirmed that American submitted the baggage fee information correctly during the payment process and MasterCard is conducting its own investigation. Dissatisfied with the company's statement, Ms. Bryant said, there's really no justification. We definitely felt targeted. That's an instance of racial bias. Brian plans to reach back out to both parties and hopefully get an apology in the near future. All right, family. So we see there is an institutional conspiratorial collusion amongst all sectors of society to impose fees, taxes, tributes, to the so-called African-American and black family. These institutional practices are what pigeonholes us at the depths of the capitalistic society here in the Americas. If all ethnic groups are not subject to said payments and then are eligible to government programs that help refugees, immigrants, non-Americans in terms of coming to the country, receiving government assistance for housing, food, business, startup. That is how the maintenance of the status quo of keeping so-called Negroes at the bottom. Everything we touch, everywhere we go, each dollar we earn and spend is carefully controlled through invisible mechanisms to make sure the power of the black dollar has none. And so family, we know of driving while black, eating while black, banking while black, um, fishing while black, any activity that we are involved in as black people, there is a target of disenfranchisement built into that system at every level of our existence. So as we continue to review and we continue to come to light and we understand our fight is not political, but spiritual, and spirit is wisdom, and wisdom resides in the streets. We will then begin to further remove the wicked bricks of this evil Babylonian and Egyptian sodomite society so that it will begin to crumble. Babylon has fallen and the chosen are awakened until we are together again. I love you. I love you. I love you. This is Revelation Stop, Unveiled Dot, Detroit.